Hello everyone, welcome to a what I eat in a day video as a dietitian in Chicago and we have a friend with us today. Yay! We have Hannah Thompson, also known as Dietitian Hannah. She is visiting Chicago and we're gonna take you along everything we eat today. So our first meal of the day, gonna be some cinnamon raisin bagels. Not really Chicago themed. We'll get there. But we gotta eat yeah. before we caffeinate. So, first meal. Uh, Ready? You regenerate super fast. Oh gosh, they can see my dirty dishes. Authenticity. <laughs> We started the day off at one of our favorite places, the Starbucks Roastery Reserve in Chicago. If you have not been, I highly recommend going. It's so cool to see the different layers of Starbucks. There's like a pastry layer, there's like a, there's a more breakfast goods and like a specific coffee level. And then the top level is actually a bar. So they have like cool Starbucks inspired drinks and it's really fun to visit. Also just, it's free to go in. So we love free things. So a free thing to do in Chicago. Um, you can visit it at any time. Obviously not any time, check the hours. But like, you know you know what I'm saying? It's, it's open year round. I had a breakfast sandwich. I'm forgetting the name of it. I will write it down and put it next to the video or I'll put it next to me eating it. And I actually tried the new olive oil coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm drinking olive oil. It's not horrible. Luckily, I really like olive oil. <laughs> oh, wait, we didn't say the name of what we're drinking. This is the Oleato Golden Foam Cold Brew. I think with the straw, I will like it better. Plus, it's kind of sweet. And then for the Sammy, what did I get? Prosciutto and Parmigiano Reggiano. Oh. Influencer hands. Mine needed a sauce. Does yours need a sauce? Yeah. It's a little dry. Yeah. The bread is really good. The bread's really good. My salmon was really good too. That cold brew is really strong. I'm very sensitive to caffeine, but I'm like shaking. And we definitely had to take a bathroom break. I can't so much, but 10 out of 10 caffeine. 10 and 10 out of our caffeine is out. Yeah. <laughs> and then from there, Roscoe Village, one of the neighborhoods in Chicago was having a burger fest. So we decided to meander on over there. It was very hot and we were incredibly caffeinated and very dehydrated and needed some more water so it was a little bit of a struggle there but we tried this really great burger i of course got mine without cheese because melted cheese kind of freaks me out don't ask me why i think it's a texture thing but i'm weird about what cheeses i will eat but mine was delicious and we also got some fries which were delish and very good at this point we were not I don't think we had drinking any water since the beginning, so morale was kind of going down and we were pretty hot, but the food definitely helped a little bit. This is from, this is a single stop in. I don't know from where. I will look Burger up. Fest. Burger Fest. Crossco Village Burger Fest.
remainder of our day, we had a big dinner planned, but before that, we needed to actually do a photo shoot for updated podcast covers for our new, for our new, for our podcast. If you didn't know, shameless plug, we are co-hosts of the Upbeat Dietitians podcast, and it was a time. I'm gonna include some clips of how it went. I legitimately bruised my lower back during this ordeal overall. But here are some of the cute pictures that we got out of it. Yes, despite the pain that we both went through, there was some good that came out of it. Definitely go listen to our podcast. It is very fun, very unhinged. And if you're looking for some just like casual nutrition, like myth busting, like discussing the popular fads, very much along the lines of like helping you heal your relationship with food, food freedom, you'll definitely be interested in listening to this. So I highly, highly recommend checking it out. It's on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and YouTube. to go to dinner and dinner was at a restaurant called carnival carnival is stunning i don't really know how to describe it it's very much like reminds me of like fancy surf and turf almost the food is so good the drinks are like one of them is my favorite ones like the con candy martini i got it last time we were there i did not get it this time the presentation is so fun we love we love we're big into presentation. If it looks good, we're, we're already feeling good about it, you know? And then of course, Hannah and I literally got the same exact thing. It was this delicious salmon dish with all the veggies and it had grilled plantains, which are phenomenal. Bobby got the seafood paella, which was also incredible. And then Hannah got a side of the elotes. We got guac for an appetizer, I forgot, which was pretty good. And then we were just so full after that. There was no room for dessert and we were feeling pretty good though. It was super fun. After this, we kind of went home. Bobby went to watch a Chicago Fire game. And then we went back and started like, you know, you know the decompress time when you like look through pictures and videos. Hannah and I probably sat on that couch for an hour and a half, two hours, just kind of going over everything and becoming very delusional and delirious. If you saw our Instagram stories, I'm so sorry. And that concludes our day of eating. We are now parked on the couch. Have been for a while now. Creating content. If you have not gone and watched our recent reel on Instagram or Tud's or the Uppy Dietitian's TikTok, go watch it. It's one of the funniest things in the entire world. So now we're hydrating. Make sure you hydrate. Hydrate and gyrate. If you want to. <laughs> Choice is yours. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for coming along. Cheers. Bye. So that was a full day of eating of what I ate in Chicago, or what I ate in a day, Chicago specific edition. This is not typically what I eat. Once again, I wanna say, this is more so just kind of a fun day. I wanted to show you everything we ate and drank because I knew we were gonna go to all these fun different places. Something I do wanna know, just especially as like a nutrition professional, even if you eat the same exact things as someone, 
exercise the same exact way, your body's gonna look different courtesy of genetics. So please keep that in mind while watching this video or just any of those videos in general. I hope you enjoyed this. This was very fun to show you kind of what we all ate in our adventure. It was a super fun day. That was the day of eating. Oh, wait, 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 life update. Hold your horses. Don't go anywhere. Anyone who follows me on Instagram, you kind of already met this little guy, but I've decided I am in a time in my life where I'm going to try to take care of a living being again. If you know anything about me, you know I can't keep plants alive for the life of me, but I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do it this time. So this is Sherb. Of course I had to name him because if I name him, I'm gonna get really emotionally invested. And then if he starts to die, I'm hoping that motivates me to take care of him better. And hopefully that means I'm not gonna overwater him. But if he does die, I will be very upset. But this is Sherb, kind of inspired from the Animal Crossing goat. Sure, but also similar to Shrub. But Sherb is just cute. Also, I like Sherbert. This does not, this little plant succulent guy does not resemble Sherbert in any way, but I just like the word Sherb. So stay tuned. I'll try to post, I'll post updates on my Instagram stories about how he's doing, but he's so cute. I got this at the Logan Square Farmer's Market last weekend. Oh my gosh, what a fun time. What a great place to be. And what a fun time to be alive. Well, Sherb and I are gonna go now. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.